We start with a historical search. The criteria is broken down into process, network, and file. Using Trellix EDR's ability to triage information using element telemetry, we pivot down to our predefined criteria to do a search and our ability to do a custom search to find our time windows and dates. We can modify these columns accordingly based on our own criteria. Columns can be pinned, added, or removed, as well as their definitions of what we're searching for. In this particular use case, we're targeting a device identified as DEU-C6. Based on the information we have, we're interested in a particular domain that's been talking to this specific device, which is not the standard or what is expected. As we go through and triage this information, we can add an additional column, in this case, Network DNS. We'll simply type in the particular domain, which in this case is redvision.online. This shows us two particular artifacts we're interested in. We're going to target down to a particular process ID, but what we can see around this process ID is that there is an outbound connection based on PowerShell. As this is definitely a point of interest, we will continue to focus on that particular process ID. We can now see not only which PowerShell is associated with it, but winword.executable. We have the ability to come in here and start filtering down further, grouping by process and removing the particular process ID. But now we know there's something happening with WinWord and PowerShell. We will search against a particular time window, which in this case is the last four hours, against documents or .docx files. What we can see here is what potentially could be malicious and the sample .doc and we want to identify that particular SHA-256. We now clear out some of our filtering. We'll take the hash and we'll search across the whole environment and the historical data for the last four hours. We see a lot of content here. We want to group it, and we can now identify what started with a single device our historical search has identified three additional affected devices. We also have the ability to export this information into a CSV file and pivot that data accordingly.